Here we go. It's your coach, Paulie C. I got a special guest today. It's the Dominator. It's my son, Dominic. And so uh, Dominic had a milestone today. So he runs track and uh, he hustles up and runs track for Westwood High School. Woo! Shout out to Westwood Warriors. And uh, we had a, a milestone today because Dominic went from four step to three step. Okay, Dominic runs hurdles. So what's four step to three step? What was that all about? So uh, four stepping and three stepping is the amount of steps you're taking in between hurdles. So you mm. jump the hurdle, land, and then you're either taking four or three steps. And most varsity hurdlers are taking three steps to quicken their time in between hurdles, which overall gives you a better time. Yeah. Overall, you know, yeah. Running the hurdles. So you you had some um, a breakthrough because um, a couple <laughs> things as far as practice and perseverance and people. So when you were telling me the story, there was a few things that stood out as far as like the lessons you learned on the people that, that you were having conversations with to break through and then the perseverance factor and it, by practicing and how that changed. So like what happened? Well, I, at first, well, the, the whole problem I was having was I, I wasn't able to uh, three-step. I was stuck at four-stepping. And what well, my coach told me it was due to my height. I'm the shortest hurdler on the team. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and my mindset kind of shifted to, well, I can't do it. Just, so I was born that way. I can't, I can't choose, you know. Right. I, I was, I can't do it because there's nothing I can do about it. I right. can't do it. In the that was the initial day. belief. That was the initial belief. Right, 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 right. And, you know, I'm just going to get really good at just four-stepping because there's nothing I can do to three-step. Right. And, uh, you know, and then I started noticing, like, maybe I can three-step. Maybe. I had, like, a little bit of hope, you know? Like, maybe maybe I can three-step because I really, really want to get my time shorter, you know? Uh-huh. And, um... <clears throat> So I, I really just started practicing my form, what it looks like to go over the hurdle, and um, and then I also started talking to my friends outside right. of hurdles. And your friends were like, your, my friends were like, well, in my head I was just like, there's, I can't do anything. I, I think I'm doing my form the best I can. I don't think I'm even doing it that well. And then I talked to my friends, mm -hmm. and they gave me even more hope by saying, you know. Your form's perfect when you go over. I'm watching you while I'm standing by, uh, you know, long jump pit or uh, by uh, pole vaulting. Mm -hmm. And I'm watching you do the hurdles, and you're doing them perfectly. And that, in my mind, I'm just like, hey, you know, maybe I can go somewhere. Maybe I can do this. Maybe I can do yeah, this. Yeah, so the conversations around you got better. The conversations around me got better, which in turn helped me have better conversations with myself. Nice. Yes. So what was the lesson learned overall Well, from this whole thing? Well, the, the, the grand prize I got in the end was uh, today was the first day that I actually three-stepped an entire set of hurdles. The whole way through. The whole way through. How'd that feel? The whole way through. Well, in my mind, going over the last hurdle, I'm like, holy crap, I just did that. <laughs> and my coach, he, like, stood up, and he's like, you know, there we go, Dominic. And I, like, I got on my knees, and I was like, yeah! <laughs> you know, I was just going off. and just Yeah. I was just like, I finally did it. You know, nice. I, what do you I, think? I got it. What do you think? I was gonna say, well, what do you think that did for your mindset? Like for now, my mindset, now moving forward, now is that you limit yourself, really. That's that's the whole lesson I learned, and my how that changed my mindset was just like, you know, you want something, then go grab it. Mm. Well, that's not that simple, Dominic. Well, obviously not, but that there's your starting place, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, your yeah. starting spot. It's I gotta yeah. have it. Yeah, and and for me, hearing you say that is like, man. Um, who am I surrounding myself with? What are the conversations that I'm having? Because um, there's a lot, a lot of limiting beliefs, some of them which I don't even realize are there, that are keeping me back from experiencing life at another level. Because you placed first in one of your more recent races, which was yeah. awesome. I was so proud of you on yeah. that. And to see you continue to make um, new PRs, you know, personal personal uh, records and, and new um, strides and how you're growing and learning, man. Dude, it's so awesome. It's good stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Dominator, check him out. Westwood Trek. Big stuff. What's up? Oh, I'm no the man. Look at his forehead. <laughs> What's up, guys? Take a look at his forehead. <laughs> Could post a whole advertisement on that thing.